This is wild honeycomb straight from the hive. It's sweet and sticky and all produced by worker honeybees. As you can see, it is full of delicious honey. But for today's video, we are really after this. Bee wax. It is an amazing insulator and it can also prevent bacteria growth for honey. So that got me thinking. Can it do the same exact thing for steaks? Well, we're about to find out right now. As for today's video, I chose these two beautiful New York strips. They are one and a half inches thick, prime grade, and exactly what I'm looking for whenever I'm buying steaks. Since I have two of them, this is how this experiment is gonna go down. One will be frozen for a year, and the other one will be completely insulated with bee wax. And luckily, I can buy bee wax pellets. They're much easier to find and use. To melt them down, I just use some water in a pan, followed by another right on top. This will allow the wax to melt nice and slow, which is exactly what I want. Little by little, the wax started melting, and it was now time to pour it on top of the steak. Now, there is one important thing for you to note. This steak is slightly frozen, so as soon as it hits the steaks, instead of cooking it, it will immediately solidify the bee wax. One important thing I did was to ensure that I covered the whole thing. I made sure that every single edge of the steak was fully covered with it, because now the only thing left to do is to put it on my refrigerator and let it sit there for a whole year. Once the time was up, I took it out and look. There's only one thing that you will immediately notice, and that is the color of the bee wax has changed. This is expected though, but at the same time, I have no idea what happened to the steak. So I got a paring knife and started to open it. And to my surprise, this was like a rock, super hard and crackly. As the steak started revealing itself, I noticed one thing. Luckily, it's still red. I thought it would be a completely different color. However, you can clearly see that it has been completely oxidized. But not only that, it is a lot worse than I thought. Take a look. This is what a steak looks like that has been preserved in bee wax for a whole year. I have no idea what to call it. Because I'll tell you one thing. This is by far one of the weirdest experiments of my life. The steak is barely holding together. But not only that. The smell that comes out of this thing is totally insane. I don't even know how to describe it. But now the question is, is it bad? I have no idea, but we are about to find out right now. Because remember, I still have one that I saved frozen for a whole year. And I really want to know if the honey preserved the steak properly, or this was a complete waste of time. Putting them side by side, you can clearly see that the one on the right, which was the one frozen for a year, the fat still white, which is a good thing. We can't say the same thing about the bee wax but hopefully it's gonna taste amazing. To seasoning, I kept it real simple. A good amount of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper. And just in case things are about to go south, I went ahead and made an awesome side dish for us today. And this one is extremely easy to make and super delicious. And here's how to do it. The first thing to do is to go ahead and cook some rice. If you don't have a day old rice available, just make sure you let it sit for at least one hour before proceeding. As the next thing to do is to go ahead and get a waffle maker. Spray it with a good amount of oil first, then lay down some bacon strips followed by a good amount of rice and another strip of bacon. Once that's done, close it up and let it cook. As that's happening, into another pan I threw in some butter and I cracked three eggs, followed by a good amount of chili oil and chili crisp. If you are unfamiliar with this thing, it's delicious, not too spicy and it has an awesome flavor. Talking about awesome flavor, after about 20 minutes, take a look. Crispy rice perfection. Now to finish this off is pretty simple. I just made a tower, put the egg right on top, followed by a good amount of chili crisp and and topped it off with honey. Now just try to imagine these flavors combined together. We're talking about rich gooey yolk, crispy eggs, savory bacon, and absolutely delicious honey. This is gonna be a real treat. And to make it even better, I went ahead and threw in some chives right on top. Now this is today's side dish. I can guarantee you one thing, it's gonna be delicious. I cannot say the same thing about today's experiment. Because remember, we still gotta cook these steaks. Talking about that, first I'll be putting a nice wonderful Sear. Once that's done, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And for that, I'll be using my Chef IQ wireless thermometers. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time to grill some beautiful steak. So let's do it.
right, everybody, here we got our beautiful steak with a very nice and interesting side dish, gentlemen. Go get you a book, guys. They're running off the shelves. Yeah, the book apparently <laughs> has its own life. What in the world was that? That may be a sign about today's video. That's not a good sign right there. With all that being said, everybody, I just want to say it. Do not try this experiment at home. Oh, oh my. It just, it just gets worse. With all that being said, it is at your discretion if you want to try it or not. You don't have to swallow it all the way through. I know you love to swallow it, but chill out. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> First Uncle Roger, not you too, Google? But nephew Leon, still swallow it? That not good? What else you do in your free time? Oh my god. Uncle Listen. Roger, everybody's coming after me now. If you don't like it, spit it out. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? All right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna start with this direction, closest to you, my friend. Remember, like I said, if you don't like it, you don't have to eat it. Why are you smelling it? Nah, you scaring me, bro. You crazy. All right, enough talking. Let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. It's good. <laughs> go ahead. I was a little worried. It's good. It's good. <laughs> The flame from the charcoal hitting this steak, you could taste it, man. It's yes. so good. I agree 100%. Delicious steak. I'm surprised you guys enjoy it. I thought you guys were going to spit it out. But, wait, um, <laughs> I was about to say, my plate's already empty, and now you're getting me nervous again. No, no, no. This is the control steak. All right, chill out. Woo! <laughs> That's the bullet. With all that being said, let me at least redeem myself with this side dish. So basically what this is, is crispy rice that was cooked on a waffle maker. Ooh. What? Yeah. We got some bacon, some eggs, and of course, a little bit of honey and some chili crisp oil. Sounds like McDonald's or somebody gonna steal this recipe and start selling it. McDonald's, bro? Seriously? Yeah, it's like a hash brown, like a breakfast hash brown, but like Asian with the chili crisp, you know, like that. I mean, okay. That's exactly what it is. That Check out the crispiness. Yeah, it's crispy. Enough talking, let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Ooh. It's a symphony of flavor and textures. It's so good. There's so much going on. You have that nice crunch from the crispy rice. You have that soft egg. You get a little smokiness from the bacon. It is really good. A little bit spicy, sweet, savory. It has the crunch and it tastes amazing. Tastes amazing, ridiculously easy to make. It's good. It's real good. Google, I'm gonna say it because I know the comment section says it. You say it's a ridiculously easy side dish, but it's a bacon wrapped chili crisp covered honey dunked egg with bacon wrapped all in it. That don't sound ridiculously easy to make. So easy, everybody, it really is. I promise you, just try it. Side dish is fantastic, but enough. It's time for the last steak. Are you guys ready to go? No, not really. <laughs> Creepy book falling, warning to the audience. I forgot because of that delicious side dish. And now and, I was oh, just and, back. and he told you if you don't want to try it, okay. Don't have to. How often does Google say that? Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, what? <laughs> Is this okay to eat? I don't know. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's not good. <laughs> Guys, I ate it. I'm not gonna lie, I swallowed that thing. <laughs> You see, you're a swallower. Okay, I, yo! <laughs> yo! Oh my god! What the f It's something that I've never tried before. It has an off flavor. The encyclopedia of words I have in my brain, it can't, I can't think of a way of describing that accurately to the audience. Like, mm. it's definitely a weird flavor. It tastes like a dry aged steak gone terribly wrong. A little sour, a little sweet, beefy, a little gross, like, <laughs> and so many things. <laughs> It's a weird taste. So here's the deal, everybody. The steak is not bad. Let's be clear. It's not bad, but it has an off-putting flavor. It has an extreme funkiness. Oh. By the way, I dry aged this in bee wax. Oh. Whoa. For a year. What the oh hell? Oh my God. What the hell? Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. This one is not a big winner, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. Remember, everything I use is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.